What's up, Vikings fans? Chris Corso here with Blake Brandle, the newest member of the Minnesota Vikings. What was it like getting the call from the Vikings? I mean, a dream come true. It's got to be for you. Do you know anything about Minnesota and, and Coach Zimmer and what we got going on here? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been lucky enough to uh, talk a lot with Coach Dennison through the process. And, uh, you know, to be a Viking, it's a huge honor. And, um, you know, we've, we've already talked a lot of ball, which is awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little familiar with uh, what he's done in the past and, uh, you know, a lot of success and a lot of cool things. So I'm, I'm just, I'm juiced. Uh, no words. Yeah, sorry we get we have to keep you busy here, but Vikings fans are very excited. You had a 93.1 pass blocking grade from Pro Football Focus. It's the best in the nation, um, according to what they they grade offensive linemen on in college. So talk a little bit about how you uh, pass block in the pass game and what you can do for a guy like Kirk Cousins keeping him up upright. Yeah, I think, you know, a big battle of pass blocking is kind of working with the guys next to you and uh you know, I think that bond that we kind of created at Oregon State really helped me um, have some success. And so uh, it's it's definitely a whole team thing. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to work with my teammates. And we're going to practice you know, our tails off and, uh, you know, keep improving. And I hope I can uh, contribute. So you said you're familiar with Rick Dennison. Did you, did you speak to the Vikings throughout the process? I mean, you're, you're coming into a zone blocking scheme with Gary Kubiak and Rick Dennison. It seems like you, you have a good head on your shoulders. Yeah, so uh, we uh, we talked about it in these Zoom meetings and everything, um, which has been awesome. And, you know, it's, it's been tricky with everything that's going on. But to have this and be able to do what we're doing right now has been huge. Uh, and, yeah, at Oregon State, we, we ran a lot of zone and similar schemes. And I'm sure, actually, we did watch some film of uh, the Vikings before I was even, you know, out of school and everything. So, uh, you know, I, I have an idea of what we're going to be doing. And it's, uh, it's awesome to be familiar with some of it. Well, one of the most consistent offensive linemen Oregon State has ever had. You played just about every game, the third longest starting streak there. So what does it say about your game and your consistency um, as a pass blocker and a run blocker? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, consistency, especially for O-linemen, is a huge deal. And um, being able to play is a big deal. I, obviously, it's a physical game and people get hurt. So staying healthy is huge. And, um, you know, like I said, O-line, the other thing is it's you're working with the guy next to you and it's all about that connection and bond. So um, I wouldn't be anywhere without, you know, my, my fellow teammates, them helping me out. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm like I said, I, I'm at a loss for words in terms of where we're at right now. So have you ever been to Minnesota? I actually have. We played Minnesota my redshirt freshman year, so um, played the Gophers. It was actually my first ever collegiate game. Wow, that's that's funny, man. Did, yeah. did you have any recollection of, of playing there? Um, I think my first snap, we were backed up on our own one-yard line um, with the student section to our back, and we had to go on what we call silent cadence. And that was a that was a pretty nerve wracking first snap, but after that, it's it's funny because you know you take that first snap and then all the nerves nerves go away. So well, you played your first collegiate game there, and now you're going to be playing your first pro game there. Hopefully, when you make this roster, sure. um, tell Vikings fans a little bit something off the field, something that they wouldn't normally know about you. It's tough because I always tell people I'm just about as boring as it gets. I'm a classic <laughs> offensive lineman, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I've got a girlfriend and. Love spending time with her. Love spending time with my family and friends. Uh, love to golf, or at least try to golf. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm your classic offensive lineman. I love to eat. I'm excited about the food. I already know Minnesota. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's I'm, I'm your classic boring offensive lineman. Just love to play football. I think you're gonna get along with these guys. Great. Garrett Bradbury had to make these like protein shakes for the entire offensive line room as a rookie uh, last year so I'm sure you might be up to that task so yeah. <laughs> definitely uh, look forward to having you in Minnesota and congratulations man it's so awesome that you that you get to join this family thank you very much I'm, I'm so excited to be here